Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and this is Ham Pickerson. I am a full-time reseller that sells on websites like eBay, Amazon, and for collectible cards, I sell on a website called TCG Player. Um, in today's video, we have uh, 37 orders to go out that uh, all came in over the weekend. So we are going to pull them and uh, hopefully maybe you can learn a few things or two about what I sold. So then if you see them in the wild for a good price, you can make a profit. So if you didn't see my previous video, um, I went over everything that I found yard selling. And while I was doing that, um, I pulled some things that I already did sell. So we will go over those pretty quickly. Um, the first right here, uh, this is a, a Red Bull Racing Aston Martin F1 shirt. Oh, there goes some hats. F1 shirt. Uh, this is new with tags as well. I sold this for $55 uh, plus shipping. And I believe I paid $2 for it at a yard sale. This right here, uh, always keep an eye out for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, I paid $1 for this, uh, and I sold it for $18.99. This one I was really surprised about. Um, I found this at a yard sale. I paid $1 for it. Um, I was trying to help out a kid that was selling uh, lemonade, so I figured I'd buy something as well. Uh, turns out this is actually worth $44.99, which is what I sold it for. We also sold a set of ink, so 950XL. This is a two-pack, brand new sealed. Um, and as you can see, it expires in June 2023. Uh, we sold that for $29.99 plus shipping. Um, and we sold that within like 10 minutes of posting. Right here, uh, we have a Magnavox a DVD VCR combo. Um, this is D... Oh. Uh, DV220MW9. Uh, this one I don't believe is actually a DVD recorder, um, but we did sell it for $49.99 plus shipping. We have uh, two controllers that are going out. These are just, uh, this is a PlayStation 1 controller, and then we also have one over here. Uh, this is a DualShock 2 for the PlayStation 2. Each one of these sold for $19.99 free shipping. This was a great find here. This is a Disney VCR. You can kind of see it right there. Usually there's a TV that goes over top of that. Um, they're pretty common, but still pretty collectible. Uh, the great thing about this one is this is brand new in box. So, uh, you know, it was open, so I can confirm that it was brand new. Um, I bought this for $10 at a yard sale, and I sold it for $250 uh, free shipping. All right, over here, we have a drone case. So I did talk in the last video how I bought another drone and didn't make too much money on it, or I'm not going to make much money on it. Uh, this one was great. So I bought this for $60 at a yard sale, um, and I already sold a few things for it. So um, I sold a charger itself for $100, um, but this right here, just the camera itself, uh, this can plug into any drone. Uh, this I sold for $150 plus shipping. Over here, we do have a golf club that sold. This is a Nike Sasquatch driver. Um, this is the rounded head. Uh, you can see it's not in super good condition. And I even believe there's something inside. So I sold it for $24.99. Uh, however, the buyer did pay $25 in shipping. Um, I think I can get that a lower price, so I will refund them uh, the difference for that. So I think at a yard sale, I bought this uh, maybe last summer. I think I paid like $2 for it. So totally okay uh, with, the, the, with the $25 sale there. All right, over in the shoe section, uh, we have a pair of dress shoes here. So the, right up top here, uh, these are a pair of, uh, I think it's like Me Meerman, um, just a really nice pair of leather dress shoes. And I ended up selling them for $90 plus shipping. I did take a best offer of that. I think originally I had them up for $125. So uh, keep an eye out for dress shoes. Some dress shoes sell for a lot of money. I always talk about Allen Edmonds, but definitely gonna keep an eye out for this brand now too. We're going to head to some of the tool section down here. This is where I keep a lot of my chargers as well as loose tools. Um, in here, we sold this DeWalt charger. Um, I believe I paid $2 for this at a yard sale, uh, and I sold it for $19.99 free shipping. So I will take that out there. And then in the other tote on the bottom, uh, we posted it and sold it very quickly. Uh, I showed this in my previous video. This is a Ryobi uh, drill, brand new. 
um, just doesn't have the battery. I sold this for $29.99 uh, free shipping. I paid $15 for this, so it wasn't the best buy, but uh, I did quickly sell it. All right, over in this section here, this is where I keep some smaller stuff. Um, I did sell, there they are. I sold both of these actually. Um, these I got with a part of another SPO system I already sold. I think I sold that for like $200, honestly. I think I paid $35 for the whole system. I sold each of these for $18.99 a piece. All right, really happy with this one. Uh, I have it over here. Um, this is that Bose speaker. I sold it within a day. If I can get it out carefully. I don't want to drop it. Kind of tough with one hand holding the camera. Um, I paid $20 for this at a yard sale. And uh, I sold it for full asking, $139.99 uh, free shipping. Again, if you ever see a Bose speaker that kind of has a look like this with the speaker, sometimes uh, it doesn't necessarily have a CD uh, drive up top. It kind of has one of those that you insert. Either way, they're always good to buy, so always keep an eye out for these. All right, in here, uh, these are all of our video games right on top. Uh, I sold this one right here. I believe I sold this for $9.99. All right, up top here, I see the shoes, and I have a few other shoes that sold. I'm going to have to kind of take my time to get those down. Uh, I paid $20 for those Nike SBs at a yard sale, and I sold them for $65 uh, plus shipping. Over in this section here, <clears throat> I do have some shoes that sold. So these right here, these are uh, Zig Wild shoes. Um, these are Reebok shoes, just in really good condition, but a bigger size. I think they're 13s. I paid up for these. I want to say I paid $12.50 for that. I don't normally spend that much on shoes, um, but I sold them for, I took a best offer of $59 uh, plus shipping, and it's going uh, through the global shipping program. And then over here, I sold these uh, No Bull shoes. I think they're kind of like a CrossFit trainer. Never really heard of them as well, but they had a great sell-through rate actually on uh, eBay. I took a best offer on these as well. I sold them for $45 free shipping, and I paid $8.99 for them. Moving over to some more video games, I actually sold this Guitar Hero guitar um, as well as a game, uh, the Guitar Hero World Tour. So I will get it out of that bin over there. But what's great about this guitar is it breaks down so the neck will come off and it can fit uh, and I believe a priority mail large box, which is fantastic. So um, I sold this for my full asking of $49.99 plus shipping. And I believe I bought this at a yard sale for about $8 plus the game. All right, I did just pull them out of here. This is where I keep all of my Jansport backpacks, but we did sell four backpacks this weekend. Um, each one of these I sold for $39.99 a piece. Um, and they're all new with tags or new without tags. So um, I should say they're just all new. So I paid $10 a piece for these. And again, I sold them for $39.99. All right, let's see if I can do this with one hand. In the eye bin, um, I sold a uh, Georgetown crew neck. Um, so I don't normally sell college stuff, but some of the older stuff, here it is right here, uh, some of the older college stuff uh, can sell pretty well just because vintage is in, and especially if you're going to that college, of course you wanna show off your vintage sweatshirt. So this one right here, see if I can get a picture for it. Um, I bought this at a thrift store for, I think, $3, and I sold it for my full asking of $49.99 plus shipping. I do have all of these teacups already pre-packaged, um, and they've been slowly selling, so uh, I want to be careful with this. But this one in number two, uh, 1.3 pounds there, I sold this for $14.99 plus shipping. So uh, not a huge profit on it, um, but again, they are slowly selling and I am making something on it. So um, pretty happy with that sale. All right, we have a few more things to pull. It looks like a mess over here, but I promise it'll be much better in a second once all this stuff is listed. Um, up here, I am not going to be able to uh, grab this without, you know, only having one hand available, but I did sell a full season of, I believe it's called Carnivali. Um, it was an HBO series. It looks like it only lasted two months, or um, two months, two seasons, um, and it sold for $24.99 free shipping, and uh, what's good about anything uh, DVD related is it'll sell or ship uh, media mail. 
I have two more things here that I'm going to grab, and then we have a few more things back at the house that I will show you. But um, I, again, have to take all this stuff off, only have one hand available right now. So I uh, have a pair of Nike golf shorts. I took a best offer. I sold those for $14.99 free shipping. And then down in P2, I have a pair of new with tags, uh, J Crew pants. I actually think that's them right there. Uh, they sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And we are back in my uh, little room here where I keep all of my vinyl records. Um, we have a couple that went out. So this Dr. John, uh, this Rolling Stones, and I forget the name of this band, uh, Little Feet. Um, these three went to one buyer, and he paid, he uh, bought all three for $105 plus shipping. Uh, so really happy with that. I sold this Janis Joplin. This one's in not great condition, so I sold it for uh, $10.99 plus shipping. Sold a Bruce Springsteen. Uh, this one was $14.99 plus shipping. And on the other side, I sold a Queen album. Um, I sold this for $19.99 plus shipping. Um, and for all of these records, I paid uh, $3 for this one and the little feet and everything else I paid a dollar for. So um, you can make some really good money uh, if you get to vinyl records. However, I know that there's a lot of people that collect them. So you kind of got to be at the right place at the right time. It's the next day and I just realized I did not make an outro. Um, so if you've gotten this far, if you can please consider subscribing, I would really appreciate it. Um, if you can also like the video, uh, I will be continuing to upload as much as possible, especially now that the yard sale season is in full force. So um, definitely stay tuned for more videos and uh, I'm heading out a little bit, maybe an hour north of me uh, this weekend. So I expect uh, just as many yard sales maybe as uh, last weekend. So. See you in the next one. Bye.